Hello and welcome again to Silver Gold TV. Give me a subscribe, guys. Give me a like. I got a great video for you guys today. I haven't. I got a lot of interesting things going on. Been a while since I uploaded, but you gotta check this one out. Uh, giving a shout out to um, Yankee Stacking. Uh, he made a very interesting video that I, I need everybody to go check out. I need everybody to go look at. I could try to explain it, but I would not give it any justice. To be completely honest, it's uh, it's it's uh, based on the letter that he got from one of his uh, subscribers, um, and wow, it's a doozy. You guys gotta watch it. This is uh, this is his channel, Yankee Stacking. You gotta go check him out. It says USA, wake up now, cause things are happening. Spain's going through some stuff. And he needs all of you to know what's going on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys know this is my favorite coin. One of my favorite coins. Uh, I like to uh, collect a lot of these uh, Mexican coins. This is a Sinaloa coin uh, made by the state. But I got some crazy news, guys. Uh, this is a bit of a video uh, touching base on how I've been telling people that you could go down to uh, Mexico and buy a... Uh, gold and silver at a better premiums pay less premiums and all that well i guess either you all listen to me or a lot of other people woke up to the situation because i just went down there and guess what there is absolutely no silver to be sold in any of the normal places like electra the banks copo these are all industries that um uh, basically, they do other financial services, of course, but they do sell silver to the general public. And believe you me or not, there was something going on. After going through all the TJ, Baja California, Ensenada, sending out my, my people to in the state of Mexico to check uh, the stores there. Uh, also, other states like Michoacan and wherever I have basically connects and friends and their family. It turns out that there is no more silver, guys. So basically what I come to find out is that uh, Mexico as, as um, a country at the moment, unless you you got one of them obscure small towns where they may or may not still have silver, but that would be the only, the silver that's only has been minted um, prior to this uh, beer bug situation. But basically what's going on is because of the situation and because you probably may have heard that uh, Pan American Silver has uh, closed down their Peruvian mines and they are one of the number ones, one of the top uh, producers or extractors of silver. And because of this, there's a silver, like a physical silver shortage, which I've been talking about for some time. And the, the virus finally got the... You know, the beer bug finally got to where where it's closing down the mines. And because of this situation, um, Mexico in particular, which is the place that I go to to get all my best silver and the best premiums, are no longer publicly selling silver to the general public. I believe they're either holding it for, for, in, for um, industries or they're they're out you know either or or point it or they're just holding it because they don't want to sell it now and they're probably holding it because they know it's going to go up they know what's really going on they know that the price is probably going to skyrocket soon so they 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 decided to hold it so that they could sell it at a higher price later whatever it is guys i just know that this letter that i saw from yankee stacking um, go check him out again. He's a great guy. Um, he got some great videos, but this particular video that I'm going to give a link to on the bottom, he got a letter from a guy from Spain, and they're going through a lot of their own stuff. And that's just that's been going on for longer. Mexico is actually one of the colonies of Spain, um, and they had publicly sold silver to their general public for a long time now. And that suddenly came to a screeching halt, complete, complete halt, no warning whatsoever i've i've tried four or five different states where i have people and they've given me the same answer they're no longer selling until they resolve they're either shortage issue or they resolve whatever they're trying to resolve or they get you know the price that they want to get for it 
point is there's no more silver being sold in Mexico to the general public as of times are changing times are changing guys times are changing what else can we say about that so I don't know if you understand what all this means frankly I can't really comprehend it all myself but what's basically going on or what I see happening is that governments um, that are in the position of power that know what's going on uh, Mexico is a great ally of, uh, of the United States they actually have one of them swap lines. Uh, if you don't know what a swap line is, you might want to look into it. Um, it's, it's very important to look into that. For those of you out there like myself that are preppers, that have that are been, been stacking silver because sooner or later you figure the Ponzi scheme was going to come to an end. Well, boy, are we going to see what we thought we would never see. <laughs> Or hoped and prepared for it, but really didn't ever expected it because what's gonna happen guys when um, they decide that they can no longer uh, mint um, silver or gold for us here in America sooner or later it may happen we have no idea how long this uh, beer bug situation is gonna last so whether it lasts another month another five months a year two years or maybe they'll make it last until they feel they have enough of the wealth in their own possession for bases are going to be coming to an end pretty soon by the end of this month i'm not sure i've heard that they want to extend it uh, i haven't heard anything that's concrete on that so a lot of people have the three months of uh of a uh, mortgage coming due pretty soon um, what do you think that's gonna what what do you think that's gonna provoke that's gonna provoke a lot of people trying to probably short sell their houses to try to get away from their mortgages um, we have a the 600 bonus coming to an end at the, the end of this month as well for the unemployment there's a lot of people on unemployment right now and I cannot get mad at those people if you if you're getting that extra six hundred dollars a week I mean for for <laughs> Why not, man? I mean, they're taking a lot of money from from us, we the people. So why not take some? So why not take something back, right? But just know for a fact that it will become due. They will raise taxes. They will raise property taxes. They will find a way to get their money back. Nothing's for free. Nothing ever is for free. Don't you let anybody tell you that the government's going to give you money because they're only giving you your own tax dollars back. It's your money. The government don't have no money. So think about that for a minute. So you're going to have to pay yourself that money sooner or later through taxation or any other means. Hopefully they don't come after our gold and silver again. For those of us in the silver community that have been talking about this for a long time, it's chickens have come home to roost guys that's how i feel about it that's what i think is going on if you're not a stacker if you're not a prepper you guys better wake up like my home yet homeboy yankee saying usa wake up because the chickens are coming home to roost and we better be ready because if our our allies are, are limiting and preventing the sale of silver who do you think is next wake up guys we got to get ready, get what we can, when we can, now. I hope this wasn't a downer video. I'm not trying to scare nobody out there. It's all the contrary, guys. I'm actually very pumped. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to great innovation. I'm looking forward to people um, working with people again, our neighbors working with neighbors, um, trying to, you know, make a change, do it right this time. I'm very excited. I hope I'm trying to I'm trying to be here much like other channels to inspire people to wake up and try to do something with themselves and try to prepare. Be there for you for your loved ones, make a community, make us grow. Show me some love. Show my homeboy Yankee some love. Um, subscribe, give us some likes and see you on the next video guys. And again, not trying to depress nobody. I try to make people happy. I try to make people love silver. I try to let people know that 
this is the way to go guys i love my i love what i do hope to see you here in the next video silver gold tv